Ryan Sejo, the man, and this is my uh, new interview with this guy. He can't see me point himself. Thomas. Do you want to yeah, it's been, yeah, Graham Grey Dog. That's the YouTube channel name. Uh, what's happening? I, I'm Graham Grey Dog. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> that, that was an awkward start, but uh, uh, anyway. I, I try to have them very awkward, all of them. Just. So it's weird to start with. Um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was actually asked um, by one of your fans to interview you. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, I'll, 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 his name was Master Chief or something. Master Chief 07, I think his name was. Yeah. Um, he comments on my stuff a lot. Well, um he's probably going to love to his, his uh, name mention a name drop yeah shout out to uh, Master Chief 07 for this interview yeah, yeah. Um, it's it was, it was the weirdest way of me being asked why don't you interview this person like, um, mm. okay, yeah funny. like I think in a way I think that's a good way of feedback but at the same time cross promotion um, I think it it's just a good way for people to collaborate and socialize on the uh, World Wide Web, you know, all that stuff. You know. It is. It's a very. Uh, have you uh, <clears throat> have you done any interviews before for YouTube in any form or way? Um, no, I actually. This is my uh, first one. Well, that's it's fun. I enjoy breaking people's cherries when it comes to interviews. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm sh I'm sure you're good at that. Uh -huh. So yeah. you you've only been on YouTube looking at your channel a year or so, and mm. you uh, mainly well I'll let you explain what you do because I'll just be messing the whole thing up. What do you do? What is your job on YouTube? What is the thing you do? Well, for a start, I uh, review video games for the PS4. And um, I'm currently working on new projects now, but I'm not exactly going to say them until I reach at least a good number of subscribers. But let's say about 2,000-ish, somewhere like that. But at the moment, my, my current content is game reviews. And I'm just starting to do uh, movie reviews as well. My recent one was uh, when I'm talking about, um, you know that TV show Gotham? Have you yeah. heard of it? Yeah, 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 I've seen it. yeah, yeah. You you got like uh, penguin and all that stuff. I discussed it with me bro and all that. Um, so I'm starting to go into a bit of um, discussion and movie critic territory there, but uh, it's got some positive feedback. I mean, South Park uh, video did well, um, so I know yeah, this could work as well. Um, well. Um You've you've hit over a thousand subscribers. Yeah. Um, your your first video was Spider Man. Um. Yeah. That that was it. Yeah. Uh, what what did you do? Like, what got you to be doing YouTube? What was it that you went? Why don't I try it? What got me into YouTube was basically boredom. Um. That that was. Uh, one of the things that got me into YouTube was just boredom. I got bored one day and I decided, I looked at my Spider-Man game and I oh, I'll, I'll uh, fucking review that and, uh, and just review it. And um, it turned out to be not that great at first because the screen is just like really, really flat. <laughs> And um, the second one, Spider-Man 2, that was like a short review, but it was much Im a better improvement. And then my third review uh, of Spider-Man 3 um, prob was, is one of my most successful videos up to date. So um, it started off with Spider-Man, funny enough, uh, but my channel is not based on Spider-Man. No, I... I no. Well, if they go through the links provided below, hint, hint, mm. to people, um, you do a v variety of games. Um, that is, because uh, your first one's Spider-Man, and 
Yeah. Uh, then you have uh, uh, Abe's Odyssey, Hit and Run. You you have a, a wide selection of games. You're not just hitting just one like genre. You're trying to yeah. get more, and uh, it's it's quite quite nice. Um. Mm. So what? So what? Uh, uh, um. So uh, how did you prepare for your like? How, well, uh, so. <laughs> Uh, so how do let me guess the question uh how do i prepare a youtube video yeah i'll get i'll get onto that one where did you come up with your name actually it came from um school um i had like different kind of nicknames oddly enough uh one of them was a mix and match gray funny enough because i wore gray pants and I wore a black blazer, and then maybe the next day, it was it was usually on Wednesday. I didn't do it all the time, but it sort of became everyone was doing that uh, trend where I have like grey pants and a black blazer, maybe a a black pants and a grey blazer or some stupid shit like that. And then it came, uh, then my name was Grey Dog for some reason. I was like, what the fuck did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. It's like it was. It's like, gray, gray, gray dog. I was like, okay, okay. I, I never really took it into consideration that would be my name, but it. I had like some stupid nicknames in school. I'm sure you can relate to that. Like, one of them called me uh, the Green Giant. I was like, what the fuck are you on about? It's like okay, these nicknames are getting ridiculous. And uh, are you at least th- tall? Yeah. Right. Uh, am I tall? Um, I don't know. I g- there were a lot of tall people in me uh, last school, but um, I just got called the Dream Giant for some uh, unorthodox, retarded reason. I don't know. Um, but then it they started calling me Grey Dog. And then after when I left school, I thought, well, my first channel name was the musical Jackass. That didn't catch people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wasn't clearly thinking. No, actually, my first channel name, interesting enough, was starting something one. Uh, I just made the channel so I can access anything that was like 18 rated on YouTube because that policy was just really fucking annoying. Then I decided, you know what, I got bored. Like I said before, I might make some YouTube videos, and they changed my name to Musical Jackass. Um, then the name sucked, and I thought it needed a better name because it's getting flooded by other videos like music and Jackass. Uh, you know that movie and documentary where they uh, Jackass, where they boost each other in the balls and stuff like that. Jackass. Sure. Yeah, I, I yeah, don't show yeah. Jackass, yeah. Yeah, they shove, like, uh, anal beads in their ass and kites and shit like that. Anyway, um, what was I? That, that name, anyway, that name sucked, and then I thought, Graham Grey Dog. So now I used one of my um, nicknames from school, with putting Graham on Graham Grey Dog. So Graham Grey Dog, that's how I came up with that. That's how the name came about. Just started off as a simple nickname at school, really. Uh, well, <coughs> oh, my my second name is Howie, so mm. that's that's I I basically get to new people when they hear my name is Howie, and I go, lads, I'd be very interested if you can think of something original to rhyme with Howie, because I've heard them mm. all. I'll be Howie. Impressed. Uh, you want me to just find something that rhymes with hoey? No, 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 no. Yeah. This is what I give to challenge the people I meet uh, who think it's funny. I got lads. Oh, and I see. It's it's impossible to think hear of something I haven't heard. If you hear if you can think of something I haven't heard, I'll be baloney, baloney. How about that one? Is that? I, I actually haven't heard of that one. There, there you go. Baloney. <laughs> baloney, baloney. Uh, uh, all right. Um. So, how do you pick a game? Like you, you've picked a wide variety of games. 
Uh, but how do you sit down and pick a game? Oh, God. Um, well, how do I pick a game? Well, like everyone else, it's like, you know when you want to play a game and you're, like, looking at your game and you're like, nah, 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 ooh, that one. Um, it usually comes with a case of whatever mood I'm in. Um, for example, if I wanted to play something like uh, something nostalgic, I might go for something like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro or Fear Effect 2. Um, and maybe the PS2. Um, Spider-Man. <laughs> um, yeah, it just depends what mood I'm in, really. And I'm sure pretty much anyone can tell you that like if you, if you play a game and you have like a collection and shit like that and it just depends what mood you're in it's very true is there um is there any game that you did a review and you were just surprised about the uh, outcome or the results or the comments or the feedback you got on that game well I my most successful review I can think of right now. I'm not bragging, but it's got the most views and attention. Is definitely Manhunt, without question. Uh, Manhunt um, had really good results because I was talking about like the controversy as well as the game itself, and um, it's pretty much on top of the search results at the moment i wouldn't say top but like uh, somewhere close um so that did really well and looking at the video from a standpoint because i did that video like since january last uh, this year um i'm i think it looks pretty good impressive actually and a lot of work went into that one video alone and <coughs> um. It, yeah, that is a because it's banned over here, Manhunt. Yeah, is it banned in Ireland as well? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when it when it first came out, um, it was like so controversial. Uh, my schoolmates would shut up about it. This was like primary school we're talking about. Like, uh, um, when I mentioned how I got my nickname, that was like secondary school. I was like, um, round that was like around about 2011 and 12, somewhere like that. But back in primary school, um, a lot of people wouldn't, was going on about Manhunt. Like, they would talk about, like, his stories about, you know, Warren LeBlanc killing uh, his mate over a game and shit like that. And uh, our teacher, get this, uh, emailing the parents and sending letters, like, uh, make them stay away from Manhunt and San Andreas because they're really bad fucking games and they will uh, hypnotize your kids to kill each other. <laughs> she was like really paranoid about it. Like, like, oh no, oh no, bad fucking games. I can't let um, that be a problem or um, I can't let that be a problem in my class. You know, it's just naughty games. No. But we played it anyway. How, so how did you get copies of that game? In England. To be honest with I'll be very honest with you. Um this year it was my first time playing the game. I never actually played the game when um it uh, came out. Um someone I knew uh, uh knew uh, had an uncle who worked in the game shop and uh he, he just said um can I can I, can I have manhunt like like if you like if you was uh, buying drugs or something? Uh, can I can I can I have manhunt? It's like what? Can you want to say that a bit louder? Um, can I have manhunt? Oh yeah, sure, mate. We've got manhunt behind the counter, and that was his uncle. And <laughs> uh. <coughs> um, yeah, I like. Uh. I don't know. I've only known a few people to play Manhunt and say it is just. A, and yeah. I've seen reviews and stuff from like America and places that still. Got, yeah, the t yeah the teacher was going on about it like it was, like it was some sort of dangerous disease or something. Like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, like. You're only gonna piss on a dead guy. It's not that bad. 
<laughs> it's not. I mean, the graphics are so outdated now. But back then, it was like, whoa. Mortal Kombat's got nothing on this. Uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But even Mortal yeah. Kombat had its own um, had its oh, own yeah, problems. Yeah. Oh, it did, yeah. Mortal Kombat was like rev- revolutionized, like really gory fucking games today. I mean, if you look at um, Mortal Kombat 10, it's like so fucking gruesome. And yeah, I don't see people bitching about that as much as Manhunt back in the day. You know what I mean? It's like, grow a pair. It's not detri- It's not detrimental to your health or anything, mate. I mean, it's only a video game. Is to, um, because you've you you've been doing this for how? When was the Spider Man? It's been over a year since you put up the Spider Man game. Do you try to? I saw ha- again the. What? Sorry, what? Um. I'm sorry, could you just continue the question, mate? Yeah. Um, so... <sighs> Losing signal here. Um, you got... All right, I've got, I've got you now, go on. Uh, so, you, you, you started your channel over a year ago. And what what is your speed of putting okay. videos up? Do you try to do one a week or one a month? I um, do one every week. Um, depending on the circumstances, because, you know, job and life and stuff like that. Um, so I am actually pretty happy that I can actually get a video out, like, at least once a week and stuff like that. Um, and um, it just depends, really, what mood I'm in when I do a video once a week or something like that. Sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's not. It's, you, you know, it just depends on life circumstances at the moment and when it comes to reviews do you do uh, do you write a script or you just kind of shoot out what you think you should say well this is how I do um, a video uh, typically um, when I have free time um, what I do is I play the game and write notes and um, on one day then the next day, I would um, film the what when when I finish the script because the script just takes a while to do it. A scripting takes at least one to two days, at least depending, because you've got to think about what you're going to say and stuff like that and how it flows. Uh, anyway, once that's done, uh, filming it is the next step, and um, the rest of it is editing. And uh, you know, once it's done. Uh, I put it on YouTube and uh, Bob's your uncle. Um, where... <coughs> you can tell I'm prepared for this interview. Um... <laughs> Jonathan Ross, mate. Uh... <laughs> uh, uh... So, you've kind of found an audience quick then your first year is good to have uh, an audience that uh, your level of over a thousand it's it's pretty handy and probably more encouraging you to make more videos and do more things yeah is there, yeah it, but is there anything that you um is there a point you're just gonna go i had to do something bigger and grander before i can do anything else like is there anything you're really building up to something like you mentioned, oh. you're building up, but is there anything that you're truly like I can't do right now because I don't have the time, the money, or the patience? Is there anything that you're truly like I want to do either a giant massive review or I'm just going to do a random sort of reviews till I get to that level that I can deal with no problem? Oh god, yeah, we all feel like that definitely. Um, we all want to do something different on our content because if you're doing like I mean, even if it, I know it's your bread and butter when you do, it, let's just talk about Angry Joe, for example. I know it's his bread and butter to do, like, loads of reviews, but he, oh, but 
you know, in the back of his mind, you know damn well he wants to do something different than saying graphics, gameplay, story all the time. So as a result, he do, he does like streams and mo- movie discussion reviews and something like that. Um, and we've come to that brick wall where, yeah, I kind of do want to do something different. And I've got them in the back of my head at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to say what they are, but they will come to fruition once uh, I've perfected it. Like the, di- the, like the different ideas. Like, I want to do other things, but game reviews is what I'm saying. Mm. So if I do that, that means that it separates me from the crowd in a way. Like, so I'm not, I'm trying to be as less cliche as possible. If uh, that makes sense, like yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. well I always love um, the Angry Joe videos that always kind of I remember at him is is the videos when he rants at his videos being taken down for no good reason. They are the <laughs> videos I don't know that I, I mean, truly remember about him. Yeah, like um, he he recently did an angry rant on a uh, Star Wars Battlefront. And uh, one of his mates was talking to him on stream, and it was, and he said to him, it was going on about like he used to eat like fucking chicken nuggets while playing Battlefront Two while playing uh, Galactic Conquest. And one of his mates asked him, "Did you fight over the chicken nuggets?" And he just burst out shouting, "You get four fucking planets because of the season pass," <laughs> something like that. Um, <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Um, <laughs> he, yeah, he, oh. he, he is, uh, he, his name is quite true. He is very angry. Yeah, he is very angry, especially at like EA, and you can't really blame the lad because um, EA basically mug off pretty much everyone, if you ask me. Look at FIFA, for God's sake, man, FIFA, and it's like I don't play FIFA, but my brother does, but. I was like watching him play FIFA and like he paid for like some gold coins and shit like that to get like good players like um, Steven Gerrard or whatever and uh, you could pay like the best packages and you could get the shittest players and that's FIFA in a nutshell and it's also Battlefield in a nutshell too. You pay the best shit for the golden packs and they give you crap. I remember when I was playing, I didn't, I didn't pay for any of the uh, gold packs or anything like that, but weirdly enough, like, uh, when you got them for, like, more or less free on Hardline, uh, I got better shit from the brown packages rather than, like, the gold, so they don't even know how to do that right. Um, fuck you, EA. <laughs> uh, well, you, you, you probably haven't heard of Air Frost, but fuck you, EA. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we will we will get our money back, you fucking bastards. <laughs> your um, your thumbnail, your thumbnails. Uh, who who designed the face? I did. It's a, it's a fine face. Eh. Um, I pretty much designed the thumbnails and pretty much um everything else um yeah that's what i've done fair enough did um were you inspired by anyone to do it in that way or did you just want to try it i just wanted to try it really uh it evolved though like it was a shit picture for a start then it got better and better then yeah uh, have you updated these, or are these the exact same ones with, with the games originally? Um, they do go through some updates here and there. Um, just depends what they need. <clears throat> right. What have you heard of the new YouTube Red system? Um, YouTube Red system. Red. Um, Red system. Um, not really. Oh, well, you'll be the first YouTuber I can explain what YouTube Red is. Um, YouTube Red. Oh, I bet you I won't be able to find a single article on it. 
is a monthly nine euro subscription to YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, where with that you get ads free, no ads. Mm -hmm. You get YouTube is releasing their own season series of uh, stuff and movies and all this, and you get to see them in the beginning of twenty sixteen and all this stuff. But ah, okay. What is your opinion for paying for YouTube? Uh, what's your opinion on paying a monthly subscription? You can have old YouTube and not pay for it and do YouTube ads. is finally throwing its own. <laughs> Goddamn video. Um, I won't find. I found a deadly image of this the other day to explain it. So you have the old YouTube. What's going to be the same? Where you pay, you deal with ads. You just you know get ad blocks. Um, ah, I see. Or you you buy a monthly monthly subscription to YouTube Red, like. They make enough money. They don't need any more money. That's my opinion. They don't need any more money, so I'm not going to be paying for uh, free movies and shit like that because Put Locker already does it. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it, I I found it because it's a it's a great marketing scheme, um, mm. because people are sick of ads and all this, and if you can. Just, because it's, it's something that happens quite a lot. Uh, Kevin Pollock mm. did the same thing at one point. Uh, not Kevin... I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Yeah, I'm not going to say no to the idea. Oh, here, here it is. Uh, watch yeah. YouTube ad-free. Upload videos for free. Mm. What? Yeah, you can still get free YouTube. Share videos offline. Background play. Original Red seasons and movies in 2016. Mm. It's... You know, yeah, they don't need it. It, uh, it wasn't Kevin Pollock, sorry. It was Kevin S uh, Smith uh, from Jane Silent Bob. He had podcasts. Oh. Oh, he still does podcasts and all this stuff. But he used to release them with ads because he, he needed to pay for all the stuff, for the offices and all this stuff. And he, uh, so they were all free and they were free. And then he, he was told he should re release them as well. A second one we pay for it, like mm. a pound or something, but you get it ad free to, uh, you know, yeah. to make it a little easier. And it's something that smaller companies could do to help turn around money and all this, but when you're a multi billion dollar company, it's gonna fuck off. Yeah, it's ingenious. It's ingenious. Hmm. It, uh, I find it's going to be something I'm sure it's going to have a lot of big YouTubers on it already to the degree to do mm. I'm sure Game yeah. Grumps is already set up but I don't know if it's going to be a whole new uh, YouTube or is it just going to be a little bit extra on top of YouTube Yeah. but it's something I, I want to hear opinion of some another YouTuber like I yeah. Um. I think I'm. I just heard about it. I know. I know it's a bit a little bit slow. I mean, fucking hell, shoot me. But, um, from the sound of it, I might check it out. Really, I might check it out anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds a little interesting. Oh, that's, that's fine. It, um. Is there any? Because I talk to a lot of YouTubers. Is there any um collaborations? Because you're you're. If if my fans haven't noticed, you're from England. Yep. You're from Wales, is it? Fuck no. I'm from Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. It was Liverpool. Uh, <laughs> from Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. It's like if anyone, it's like someone said, "Are you from Wales?" Like no. It's like it is right. There's something. There is a uh, rivalry, as you can understand, between England and Wales. Um, because where I live, everyone at least owns a shop and they're a scouser. Like, uh, um, like I go into a shop to buy some shit. He's like, all right, mate, so are you doing? And I've got one Welshman behind me going, yeah. You know, because <laughs> there's a scouser working behind a bar or a scouser working like, in a shop or whatever. It's just where I live around that area. Because, like, where I live... Um, there's there's people who come from England to have a break from uh, have a break from being a uh, you know scumbags basically. 
<laughs> they just get loads yeah. of big cats. Because, like, where I live, like, everyone who, anyone, I'm not saying everyone from England is scumbags, do not get that wrong, I'm from England, but what I'm saying is, where I live, there's a caravan site, and they, you know, they, they come down here, have a break from all the rowding, rowding and chaos, and they cause trouble down here, um, but... And that there's also people like me who live in England, who live in Wales, sorry, who are who are English, who are really, really decent people. It's just the people who take a holiday to the caravan sites just cause nothing but trouble. Um. So, yeah, I do live in Wales, but I don't, but I'm not Welsh. Uh, um, mm. So, is there any? Go back to my uh, original question. <laughs> is yeah. there any uh, English YouTuber that you would love to work with, like collaborate with? Um, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> there is a lot of them because I haven't really done a collaboration before. Um, any suggestions that make my que- that make your question a little bit easier? I'm trying to think of an English YouTuber. Uh, Caricurus? Caricurus? Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind, yeah. 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 Um, I was just asking. Um, I always seem that other YouTubers are always kind of... Because through what I've done through YouTube to help... Well, other channels I work with grow, not mine. Uh, mm. <laughs> networking is fantastic for YouTube. Uh, to oh yeah, make... defo, defo, yeah. Like yeah, defo. I, I, I'd say ninety percent of YouTube is networking, mm. and you, you, that is horrible that you could put weeks and days and months and years of your life making videos to. It's more important oh. to just keep talking and understanding and knowing what other YouTubers are doing in their fields and connecting with them yeah. and linking with them. Like, true. The last year since I started this whole trying networking with YouTubers, I've connected with about yeah. nearly twenty YouTubers. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just good. I find it's a good thing to build up what you have and keep definitely. Going. Well, I think this is like one of the first collaborations I've done. Um, but feels feels good. Um. I think the other one I also done recently that was like probably if you really want to be more technical uh, that would be my first collaboration it's with me brother and that's one of them it doesn't have a YouTube channel but it's still a collaboration nonetheless um but about collaboration yeah I wouldn't mind working with other YouTubers that'd be great um so what's so uh, I, I, if you've ever seen the inside the actor studio, he has a series of questions that he's robbed, ten questions that he's robbed from a French um, broadcaster, and he's been doing this for a very mm. long time. So I robbed the questions as well, because the best form of flattery mm. is to rob them. And yeah. as you've been English, before I ask you the first questions, as you've been England. English and it's returned uh, what is your opinion on Doctor Who crap fair enough what is your favourite word my favourite word yeah. ooh fuck um um it's probably um because I use it because everyone uses it. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I, um. Yeah, it would be my favorite word. I've actually had an interview with uh, Val- uh, Valentino, it... who just refused to answer the first two questions. Um. Well, I'm gonna try my best to answer that. Probably a swear word like shit or something. I don't know. That is that, because, that is coming up later on. That's one of the questions. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. A- any other question? 
what is your least favorite word? My least favorite word. Um. Um. Negativity. Negative influence. That's a, that's a fine word. I'm sure. Mm. What creatively turns you on? <laughs> the way you say that is just really funny. Well, um, the word creative isn't in it, and I don't particularly. No, no know. what some yeah, so what something creative turns you on? I'm I'm sorry about that. Um, what? Okay, so what um, makes me motivated to create something? Yeah. Well, well, I'd say my. Uh, people who like my videos do for one uh, I get quite a bit of support from them and I guess that's what keeps me going really and um, that's one of the cases and um, the other cases is it gives me something to do like and I enjoy it and people enjoy it and that's pretty much enough in my book if you think about that and um, yeah. What creatively or motivates what turns you off? So what doesn't motivate you? What would kill your motive, uh, your what what would turn you off basically and creatively turn you off? Well, it just depends what, what mood I'm in really. Um but what would but the question that you asked me is, you know, what um creatively turns me off? Um well, I would say that maybe doing it over and over again could potentially do that because I I'm the type of person that likes to do different things, you know, not not just do the same thing over and over again. Like give it a break, do something else, and then get back to that again. Uh, that's the type of person I am. Like, um, I'd say if you overwork, you, you're gonna you're going to eventually lose motivation. If you overwork to the point where uh, you are not motivated, just take a break. Just take a break and do something else, and eventually your motivation will come back. It, I'm just talking through experience, really. Um, yeah. What noise or sound do you love? What the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah, I never let what? anyone know I do these questions. I've <laughs> never been asked that question in my life. That's like saying, "What is your favorite? Uh, what, what What is your favorite?" Oh fuck it, I don't have anything. Um, okay, back to back to this. What is my favorite noise and sound? Or sound. Or sound. Yeah. Um, um, move on. Because I haven't got any. What <laughs> is the noise or sound do you hate? Um, what noise or sound do I hate? I guess um, back at school, I never liked the school bands because they couldn't play for shit. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'll tell you a little story. Um, there was this band who could not play to save their life. Um, you know, they had no bassist, no no singer. So, you know, because the bass has to time the rhythm of the bass drum and all that. Uh, but they had the guitarist and a drummer and another guitarist. And um, one time, uh, they were, have you ever heard of Blink-182? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's my age? What's my age again? You know, they were playing that. Like, uh, it feels right, you know, you know, that type of singing. Um, 
So anyway, they they kept on playing uh, Blink One Eighty Two, and they would go to the next bit, and then um, they did that on band night, and every and uh, everyone was just taking a piss, going wee, but really they just really fucking hated it, to be honest with you. And to be honest with you, they um, the drummer was just up his own ass. I mean. He couldn't play. He was doing too many fillers and all that, and it just made the timing of the song absolutely dreadful. Dreadful. And when I was at school, uh, I just took the piss by just dancing outside the door. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. What? Like I... Go on. Like if it was like some sort of mosh pit outside of the uh, recording room. Um, and there was this, that was one of those noises I hated. And the other, uh, I think that, yeah, that, that made it clear. Uh, that was one of the noises I hate is uh, the arrogance and ignorance of people who can't play but think they can. Um, maybe is one of them, but not the main thing. What is mm. your favourite curse word? What is my favourite curse word? Yeah. Um, fuck. Um, I, I think... I don't know, you have to uh, uh, just assume it might be fuck or something because I probably use that word a lot in my reviews or videos or whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> <clears throat> what profession other than your own would you like to attend? So, on YouTube, what else would you love to do? Um, what would might be well? There are things I want to do on YouTube as well, but I don't really want to reveal them until I make like an update video on that. Um. So you can you stay tuned for that. I don't really want to reveal anything just yet. So if, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What profession would you not like to do on YouTube? Reaction videos, let's plays, beard scratching videos. What? Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. What is it? That's a thing. They, they, there's this one knobhead who does um, beard scratching videos on a mic with a knife and his fingers and all that, and uh, he get he he gets like fucking eighty k views because of scratching his fucking beard. So here's the sound of my here's the sound of my beard getting scratched by a knife. Uh, that I don't know if you can hear it, but it's basically that, and then. Um, there's the reaction videos that I cannot stand to a T because like all they do I mean I know it might be good promotion but it's funny how they promote the bigger channels um like let's say it's, it's a, let's say for example um it's vine videos that have gone viral or something like that and they react to that comparison uh I can't stand those to a T um Let's plays. I don't mind uh, let's plays, but I would not want to do them uh, because everyone does it basically. And I know there's other people who do game reviews and stuff like that, but um, to me, it's a benefactor to think about. To me, that I put a certain amount of time into content. It's just a factor to think about. To me, I don't really feel accomplished if I uh, film myself playing a game, doing what everyone else is doing. And uh, posting on YouTube, I feel more accomplished when I actually put the time and work in, even regardless if it does well or not. The final question are the ten questions from Inside the Actor Studio. If heaven mm. exists, what would you like to hear God say to you when you arrive at the pearly gates? What would God say to me? What would I like to say, say that question again? Sorry. What would you like God to say if you when you get to the pearly gates if heaven exists? 
I'd say um, 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 where 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 the f where am I or something like that? I don't really no, no, know. No, what would you like him to say to you? Oh, uh, welcome to heaven, I suppose, um, or something like that. Or uh, I wouldn't like him to say uh, get the fuck out for no reason. I wouldn't like him to say that. It's like, oh, you, you've been swearing so much. Oh, lack of faith. Yeah, there's this... Oh, my God. This reminds me of something, actually. Um, have you heard... I don't... I forgot the name of it, but it was a Nicolas Cage movie, regardless. But it was about Nicolas Cage being a pilot and all that. And uh, they were debating about the fact if God exists or not, if he coexists, not or not. <clears throat> uh um, and he works in mysterious ways, and this girl came up with an ownage uh, answer saying, well, maybe his love works in mysterious ways, or some shit like that. And uh, apparently what it's about, people who have faith in God uh, go up to heaven, that we're talking children, and women, or something like that, and the ones who don't have the faith stay on earth. And, um, and Nicolas Cage thought, oh, all my family's gone. And... Uh, he gets a call from his daughter while he's flying on a plane. Uh, a, a, we're talking like a big fucking jumbo jet, right? And passengers. Even the passengers, some of them are gone. And his, daughter, and his daughter's like, Dad? Dad? Uh, I'm, I'm alive. Or, or something like that. Because she gets a signal from like standing on a bridge. And so she clears the runway and uh, Nicolas Cage lands on the runway with a big ass jumbo jet. He's like... Oh, thank God I didn't die. Oh, you know, all that. Um, I don't know. And the point I'm making is that what that question you asked me just reminded me of that movie and how ridiculous it was. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to be left on Earth um, like that, I guess. Because I have a lack of faith, really. I mean, um, I mean, I have different religious beliefs, but um, I'm not exactly a great believer in God, really. But uh, I do have my suspicions, though. But we'll see, really. I'm not. I'm not up for debate. That's what I'm saying. No, yeah. I am. Um... Mm. <coughs> it's a, It's not a fun question to ask, really. But it's it is. Um, oh yeah, and uh, going back to that before, you, going back to that last question, uh, there is one thing, one thing I did want to mention though, um, that you asked me in the last question, um, what videos I don't like. Yes. Um, there is one. Uh, I don't like fake videos, like. Um, have you heard of a YouTuber called McJuggernuggets? What? <laughs> McJuggernuggets? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not bullshitting you. I'm I'm not bullshitting you. Have you heard of a YouTuber called McJuggernuggets? I uh, I can safely say I've not heard of a YouTuber called McJuggernuggets. <laughs> yeah, I know. The name is fucking stupid, but he basically does, like, these psycho videos where his dad mows over his game saying he needs to get a real job and shit like that. Oh, and, uh, is, he I big, know, is he a big fat yeah. American? Um, he, he's, he's lanky, but he's not fat. He's basically... Are you on YouTube? Just look him up. It's, it's fine. You can, you can just explain it. I'll look him up after this. Uh, okay, okay, fair enough. <coughs> Um, basically, he's like, the, I'll give you the video um, as an example. He, his dad moaned over his games as a result of him not getting a job and apparently 70, 70 uh, grand down in college debt. And he's like, uh, no dead rising, no crackdown. Hey, no! <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, it's so fucking fake. And it's like, get a job. Dad, fuck, freaking! He just storms out the room while his brother's filming, and is and apparently his dad just has like all of his games 
in one spec all of his games and he says you gotta get a job while you game it's like this is what I want to do I want to game I'm really good at it I'm really <laughs> and then he mows over the game obviously oh my god if you watch a couple of his videos you will see very, just a trend I mean, the point is, I do not like YouTubers who fake their way up to the top. He's got like 2 million subscribers alone from those videos. I'm not kidding. 2 million. 2 million. For doing like these psycho videos where his dad like breaks his shit, basically. Well. It must be working for him. Like I say. Mm. Uh, sorry, can you say that again? It must be working. I hate to say it, but it's it's something that's working for him. It is working for him. It definitely is. But at the same time, he gets like, oh my, a lot of dislikes from people who know it's fake and a lot of likes from people who like not think it's real. Um, oof. So that, so, so that was going back on my last question. Um, Anyway, th those are the type of um, people I... Those are the type of videos I don't really like. That's fair enough, that's fair enough. And, um, we're kind of coming close to the end of the interview. It's been 50-odd minutes. Mm. Quite, quite remarkable, 50-odd minutes. Is mm. there... <coughs> Is there any video that's coming? Are you doing a special for Halloween? Are you doing like a horror game for the hollow week of Halloween? Um, not really. Ah. Um, if you're gonna, uh, people might ask why, but I'm not that interested in Halloween really. Um, I just got, I've got my own opinion really. I have done a a, a video. I don't think I have. No, I'm no, I, I'm not really um, into that Halloween stuff, really. But Christmas, yeah, definitely, yeah. Fair, yeah. fair enough. Um, yeah. Well, I'd like to thank my guest for coming on and answering my stupid questions for the last near hour. Um, yeah. Because I've got a few people to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> And the yeah. last few interviews I've done have gone far over an hour, and I'm really trying to keep it into under an hour. Because the yeah. last, because one of them went on for an hour and forty minutes, I think. Yeah, uh, I suppose the other people you've interviewed. Um, uh, actually, one question: uh, what in what people did you interview who went over an hour? Um. Uh, va uh I interviewed a model uh, Valentino oh I see yeah uh, well the only thing reason that interview went over now is because uh, she's a model and uh, mm. it was, I did it in person and uh, oh, oh okay fair enough and she's a model and um, did I mention she's a model yes okay just making sure I said she's a model Um. uh and Professor, yes, it was my last interview went on for an hour and 40 minutes with uh, Professor Juice. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't isn't she Kadikaris' sister? She is Kadikaris' sister. She is. Ah, I spent the yeah. whole interview trying not to bring up her brother, and he came up a few times. You Yeah, yeah. Um, What made you not want to bring that up? Just... I did. Jeez. I did want to link her to her brother. I wanted her to be her. She, of course, that's very understandable. She's her own person at the end of the day. Like I did a video, a trailer for that, because I was like, well, uh, I had to do like a trailer because she was at the, at the time and it was the biggest huge shit over five thousand subscribers. And Valentino has a huge audience, but I couldn't really. So I just took some images, but. Uh, I love the way I have a, a three second trailer for the interview and I got dislikes yeah. on it. <laughs> Aww. But it was, uh, I found the interview, the, it was quite fun uh, interviewing mm. Professor Juice because it just got to the point that it was like a back and forth. I had just 
so many questions about what she's done and where she's going and she was just very elaborated around the stuff and it's a good interview and I am hinting to everyone who's listening to this one right now to check out that one and check out her channel and check out all the interviews I'm doing and all the people I've interviewed because mm. they've been all good and because I don't do short interviews my max is trying to get well my max is two hours I'm not going to go any over two hours because that's just a nightmare to yeah. end but I had to go over yeah. 40 minutes because it came from a YouTube he is a YouTuber at this point Kevin Pollock's chat show on Sunday and Saturday yeah. nights he does interviews with celebrities and famous people but they're never yeah. under an hour they're always over and as long as one was with uh, Eddie's, Eddie Eddie is at I think it was two two hours 40 minutes or just close to three hours yeah and he's a brilliant YouTuber and comedian and I'd love to mm. interview him at one point and I'd say it'd be quite fun mm. uh, but do you have any uh, questions for me or any closing statements you'd like to say to the world and maybe promote your own channel um, I usually say I'll see you later and remember to stay beast tra but I guess I'll be saying a simple goodbye then right. well, I like yeah. it thank you my nice, my nice little, my like, nice little guest. Yeah, he could be taller yeah. than me. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but check out his channel in the links below. I'm sure he's on the share this on all his platforms, and that's probably where I'll get the views. So, <laughs> till next time, take care. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank, thanks for listening to uh, my uh, story about stupid nicknames. It's a, so, it's a yeah. Fun thing. Bye. Yeah.